Did you feel, what was the best part of your college experience? Um, definitely, like, I did a lot of plays in college. So for me, that was probably the funnest part. You went to Hampton, right? Yeah. And so, why did you choose to go to HBCU versus going to, like, a traditional school? I don't, for me, it was no other. <laughs> like, I come from Prince George's County, so it's like an all black area. Um, and I just like, I love that environment of seeing successful black people. Um, also, at that time, I would have been the first graduate of my family, so I didn't know where to go. Like, a lot of people go where their parents or their aunts or their uncles went. So, my god sister went to Hampton, and that was kind of like, you know, I looked up to her at the time, so that's why I chose Hampton. Um, yeah, I got a few. I got one from Comcast, one from Hampton, and one from AKA. But it didn't completely cover all of my tuition, so I still took a loan out for the other half. So are you still paying loans yes. to the same? Yeah. So how do you think that maybe affects some of your choices, I guess? It used to affect my choices. I used to allow it to burden me a lot because it's stressful when you know you owe. You know what I mean? It's almost like you feel like you just... It's always just sitting in the back of your head, especially because like these student loan companies are raping people. Like, there's no reason in the world that kids should be coming out of college paying six, seven hundred dollars a month. That's rent in certain places, and that's how much I was coming out paying. But after you learn the system and you learn how to like find a way to lower your payments, lower your interest, find legal loopholes, then you can you can work your way around it. Like to do plays when you were in college. Mm -hmm. So did you study acting in college? I know you're actress now. No, I studied business management. I wanted to be. I went into college wanting to be a lawyer. Oh, okay. So why the switch? Well, I'm gonna be honest. The only reason I wanted to be a lawyer is because my mom wanted me to be a lawyer. Like I've yeah, always wanted to be. Quite familiar. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wanted to be an actress, but I think like. Just yeah, like, black families, like ethnic families in general, I think our parents are scared for us to do these unconventional careers. You know what I mean? Because they, they're like, man, what if it doesn't work? You need something to fall back on. Like, my parents struggle, their parents struggle. I don't want you to struggle. So go to school, get your degree, go to law school. I feel like it's the Kanye West skit where it's like, get your degrees, degrees, your degrees, have degrees. So, um, and then I was in there and I was just like, this is whack. Like, I don't want to do this. Like, I want to act. And so, I still wanted to get my degree, but I, that's when I started to get into plays and pageants and like local things that allowed me to kind of express myself creatively. Okay, while you were still... While I was college. still doing my business management degree in college, yeah. Okay. So what do you think is like the number one reason everyone should go to college? Honestly, I don't even feel like college should be an option anymore. To be to be 100% with you, um, it's like the next level, like after high school, it should just kind of be a requirement. Only because in a world filled with people competing for everything, whether it be an acting job, uh, a, a career job, whatever, that's just another. Now that's the minimum. College is now the minimum. I do understand for people that are like, yo, I don't, I don't see myself in college like I don't see myself doing anything in college well there's other schools that allow you to get another level of education after high school but high school is not enough at all like at all so if you have to go to a conservatory or some kind of school that special maybe you're lucky you know exactly what you want to do cool if you know you want to be an actor go to a conservatory and learn your craft if you know you want to be this or that go to whatever school it is and learn your craft but I definitely think like a higher education is necessary it's now the minimum you don't got no choice I'm sorry are we even are we talking about it like it's a choice right exactly <laughs> so look into the camera and give your final words of advice this upcoming generation all right just be yourself look I know this sounds like the corniest advice ever but when I was younger I wish I would have like maintained being myself because now I'm like dang I want to be that weird girl I want to be that person that like love the quirky stuff because that's what sets you apart that's what makes you different that's what's gonna end up making you who you are making your money making your career making you different you don't want to be like everybody else that's whack so don't be like everybody else be yourself hold on to who you are Ha, ha, ha.